hello everyone and welcome back to my channel it's your girl the moon goddess and i am back 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 if you are new to my channel then welcome to my channel i am the moon goddess okay i just wanted to come out here and just give like a little like life update um because it, i haven't posted in a while and i just wanted to be completely candid because i feel like a lot of things that people are dealing with and feeling and going through at the moment are very similar so I just wanted to talk about these things that I've been dealing with and hopefully it can help anybody else who may be in those feelings or in those emotions or in any type of stuck type of energy. I dealt with that and that's the reason why I hadn't posted in a while. I'm sorry if you hear my son in the background. Um, but yeah, that's the reason why I hadn't posted in a while. I dealt with stuck energy. I was trying to remove myself from certain situations that were causing me to feel stuck and to be stuck mentally spiritually physically as well um i started a job where i work from home so that kind of puts me in a very serious comfort zone that i'm trying not to be in <laughs> because comfort zones are not okay to stay in um so yeah like here i am i feel like i'm just pushing myself to come back and just to do what it is that I feel like I'm supposed to be doing here on YouTube. I was dealing with some energies around me that were basically draining me, okay? So I don't know if anybody is dealing with this right now. I feel like a lot of people are based off of readings and, you know, just the overall energy of what's happening in the universe and everything. Like, there are people who are dealing with stuck energy or dealing with people who are energy vampires or people who just take more than they give people who you're pouring into but they're not pouring back into you just a type of energy of just feeling like you're just stuck and confused and hurt and mad and frustrated and irritated and then also for some or even for me like at one point i didn't know why i was frustrated or why i was mad or why i felt the way that i felt until you know i had a very serious conversation with myself and i just took a look at my life and took a look at everything that was happening now when you are not living in your purpose you are never going to be comfortable you're never going to be happy you're never going to you know just adapt to what it is that you're in some people do and that's bad in my opinion you can adapt to a situation but then you overcome it some people adapt to situations and they just stay in those situations and i feel like for me i was starting to get to the point where i was adapting to the energy vampires and i was adapting to my energy being that low and those low vibrations and those things that were hindering me from being who it is that i knew i was supposed to be and that's for me it just turned into a bad thing and i got uncomfortable and i got mad and i got frustrated and you know it just came across like i said when you're not living and doing what it is that you're supposed to be doing for yourself or for your higher self for your spiritual journey you know we talk about soul contracts all the time especially if you watch a lot of um spiritual channels soul contracts talk about what it is that you planned on doing before you got to this earth it's a soul contract it's what it is that you know your whole blueprint on what it is that you planned on doing or what you were assigned to do before you got to this earth and i feel like you know for soul contract energy when you are not sticking to that contract it's frustrating when you are not sticking to the path that spirit has laid out for you that god has laid out for you that the universe has laid out for you when you're not sticking to that path everything else and anything else just feels uncomfortable and I had to really relearn that. <laughs> Karmic cycles and just life cycles, they will put you through the same cycle to see if you have learned a lesson. And until you learn that lesson, you are going to continue to go through that cycle of feeling frustrated, stuck, irritated, anxious, whatever it is, introverted. I'm a Sagittarius. I am a very outspoken person. I love being out. I love interacting with people. I love being around people. When I notice that that's not what I'm doing and I would rather not, then yeah, that's a problem. And feeling like I didn't have control of my own self and my own emotions and my own body because of the lack of energy that I had, the lack of love that I wasn't 
that I had, the lack of love that I was, wasn't was giving to myself or that I wasn't receiving. And, you know, it just becomes a thing where you really have to give yourself, you have to love yourself before you can love anybody else. You have to show yourself the psychic requirements that you deserve. And then God and the universe are going to send those type of people into you. And that was my lesson that I had to learn is that I'm attracting the type of energy that I have around me based on the fact that I hadn't learned a lesson. If there's anything that I can leave you with when it comes down to this conversation, it's just do what you feel like you have to do for you and for your journey and for your path and for your happiness. And if anybody comes into your life and they interrupt that, notice that red flag, notice that black flag, notice whatever flag, and categorize them the way that you're supposed to. We as people, we tend to hold on to people when at the end of the day we can't because we don't know if that person is here for a day, for a week, for a month, for a lifetime. And I feel like we try to fit day people into the lifetime category or lifetime ca people into the day category and that messes things up. So that's what I was doing. In all honesty, I was holding on to something that I knew wasn't going to be beneficial for me. Or I, I was holding on to something with the hopes that it would be. But when you know, and especially when spirit shows you, when spirit shows you, these are the things that you need to pay attention to. And these are the things that I had to learn to pay attention to. For the Sagittariuses or for any of the fire signs, because I feel like all of the readings for the fire signs are kind of a collective energy when it's talking about this person who did us wrong or this person who played us or, or just not even Sagittarius, but anybody. If this is how you're feeling, now is the time for you to let it go and move forward, okay? This is the confirmation that you needed for the day to let it go and to move forward, okay? I started, I started a, like a full cleanse, <laughs> like I'm like cleansing my body out from the inside out, like literally. I've been also taking time and doing some journaling. I've been also being a better mommy, spending a lot more time with my son and focusing on the things that are more important than, you know, what I thought was important. And just really just taking the time out to really love me and find out what it is that I want for me. Now I want to talk to the moms who are on my channel or who watch my channel. We have a tendency to feel guilty if we want to take time for ourselves because we have kids and they depend on us and we're the moms and this, 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 and that. We have a tendency to feel bad if we decide that we want to take a break or if we want to sit down or some of us, at least I do. I have the tendency of feeling guilty and feeling some type of way if I didn't interact with my son the way he wanted me to and this was all in the moment of all of these emotions that I was feeling and things like that. So that just added to the list of emotions that I had that I was trying to rid myself of. It's okay to breathe. It's okay to take a moment. It's okay to just sit and meditate. It's okay to just sit and drink some tea and read a book. You don't always have to be like the type of person that everybody wants you to be all the time. You know what I'm saying? that becomes a thing that can become very overwhelming and that can contribute to stuck stagnant energy because then that contributes to you being tired or you wanting to procrastinate on certain situations because you don't have the energy because you put too much energy into something else there's nothing wrong with being an active parent but there has to be a balance okay there for me i feel like there definitely has to be a balance okay you don't want to feel overwhelmed you don't want to feel exhausted you don't want to feel tired you don't want to feel to the point where you're just like putting so much energy out for everybody else and not doing anything for yourself and also if you don't have children for the people who work if you work nine to five or eight to five or whatever it is you put all your energy into these jobs and into these corporations and by the time you get home you're so burnt out you don't have the energy to pick up your camera and to do a video or to do this or to do that and this is the thing where I'm saying there has to be a balance because there has to be something you're pouring out 
you have to be able to to give back into yourself and to pour back into yourself right Liam? okay now when you do have this spiritual awakening or when you do feel like you're on a path now to changing and moving towards something different there comes the stigma of you now looking at other people around you and in like a judgy type of way and that's one of the things that I feel like I had to overcome. I was actually talking to my mom about it and I was telling her how I feel like within all of these emotions that I'm feeling, this awakening that I'm going through, this transition that I'm going through, everything that I feel spiritually that's happening to me, I don't want to turn into the B word. Protect your energy, yes, but don't judge, don't outcast. Like if you have to create boundaries, healthy boundaries are important. There's a way of going about protecting your energy and, and creating boundaries without being a bee about it or without being rude or you know disrespectful to anybody okay i feel like we get into a mode as humans where it's like when we're protecting ourselves we build a wall around ourselves and that's healthy to a point and my birthday is coming up and i am planning on doing like a self-care birthday i want massages facials i just want to decompress Okay, and sometimes those moments are necessary, especially after going through the type of things that we as humans have been going through since before the pandemic. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of residual energy in this world from things that are still, that have happened and things that are currently happening and things that are continuing to happen from the past. There's a lot of residual energy just floating around and that can easily trigger anybody so you know we just want to make sure that we just keep ourselves spiritually healthy mentally healthy physically healthy and just continue to just keep striving for the greatness that we know is within us everybody is born with greatness within you everybody has a purpose everybody has a plan like i said everybody has a soul contract get back in touch with your higher self your higher self is calling you your higher self my higher self was calling me and now here i am you know what I'm saying? Not saying I've arrived, but putting on makeup and lashes and turning on this camera wasn't an option for me about two weeks ago. So I'm just grateful and I'm thankful for the energy that I have. I'm grateful and thankful for the new mindset that I have. I'm grateful and thankful for everything that is revealing itself to me that's allowing me to move forward in the type of woman that I am spiritually and the type of mindset that I have. All right, so to end this video, I'm just going to pull three cards from my tarot deck just to give some confirmation in regards to everything that I was saying and hopefully spirit comes through and says what's needed to hear for anybody who may need to hear it. And the spirit is going to come through now, hopefully. Spirit, what are your messages for anyone who may need to hear a message right now, spirit? What are the messages that you have for anyone who may need to hear a message right now? I said three cards and y'all three cards failed. Okay. Um, high Priestess, spiritual energy, getting back in touch with your higher self, getting back in touch with your inner wisdom, getting back in touch with the, the energies that you have that are within you okay becoming mysterious putting that air of mystery out okay not being readily available for people okay protecting your energy okay this is the higher self calling you okay this is the higher self calling you, you guys i'm looking at these cards i am bugging out this is the higher self calling you okay and pushing you to be stronger and to be better okay the high priestess is intuitive awareness trust your inner voice calm still silent contemplation and mystery trusting your inner voice some of you need to trust spirit a little bit more and some of y'all know what it is that spirit is telling you but because you're choosing something opposite this is why this is coming up and this is why you may be feeling whatever energies you may be feeling. 
it's time for you to get back to your higher self. It's time for me to get back to my higher self. Y'all see me tearing up? Golly. All right. Now, the next thing that came out was the Seven of Wands, which is about defending your position. This is about you putting your foot down, okay? If you have to tell somebody, listen, this is what it is, and that is it. You are literally creating this foundation, okay? This person is sticking these these rods into the ground. They're not making, like, I'm protecting myself. This person is also, you see how the rods are, like, kind of surrounding this person? Yes, protect your energy. Protect your energy and be strong in that. Anybody who tries to come in, especially people who you know don't deserve any more chances. Anybody who tries to come in, like I said, love from a distance, but the the access the access like i said you can't be readily available don't be readily available do not give these people the access that they don't deserve anymore okay and then lastly <laughs> the nine of pentacles spirit is trying to take you to a place of financial abundance riches happiness independence financial like the burdens that some of you may have been feeling financially are about to be lifted, but it all starts with a decision that you make in order for you to get to this, in order for you to get there. You have to trust your inner voice. You have to trust that that intuition that you feel. Some of you, if you're like me and I was telling my mom, I feel like it was something in me or something in me that is dying to get out, like just dying to get out. And... I'm still, like I said, I'm still learning what it is that that soul contract is that I have. But, you know, these are the decisions that are necessary for that soul contract to be fulfilled in order for you to reap the rewards and the benefits of this life. You want to reap the rewards and the benefits of this life? Trust your intuition. Trust your inner wisdom. Look for that spiritual guidance, whether that be these, you know, readings, if you're into church, if whatever it is, your spiritual journey, follow the spiritual journey that I feel like is calling to you. My spiritual journey is a whole lot different than my family's. I did a whole video on that as well. I grew up in a Christian household. My family's, my grandfather is a pastor. Me doing tarot cards is literally me bringing the devil into my house, according to my family. You know what I'm saying? But you have to do the journey and follow the path that you are being called to do you are being called to do okay that's that intuition you feel that you know that you know it's something within you you feel it and you know it and you hear it please follow that okay and stick to it stick to what it is don't let anyone interrupt your peace your energy your growth your awakening anything okay and then after all of that spirit is taking once you once you trust spirit and you stick to trusting spirit, opportunities and doors opening is not even like you don't even have to question it. You don't even have to fathom that. I don't even know who I'm speaking to right now. I know I'm speaking to myself, but I hope I'm speaking to somebody else. But you don't even have to fathom what it is that's going to come through for you because God and spirit are just going to open doors for you. There's gonna be opportunities that are just gonna fall into your lap. There's going to be opportunities that are just going to be presented to you. You have to trust spirit. Once you grow spiritually, you're going to surround yourself with the people who need to be around you. Then those opportunities and everything else is going to come. And these cards could not have all fallen. I asked for three cards. Spirit gave three cards. These are the three cards and the messages. And I hope this resonates because this resonated so much with me. I hope this resonates with somebody else. Um... I'm going to pull one oracle card. I'm going to pull one oracle card from my Moonology Manifestations deck because spirit is on point and I thank spirit for the messages. I thank you God for the messages. I thank you universe for the messages. That was definitely necessary for anybody who may need to hear that. I'm going to keep those out. I'm going to keep those three out. So I'm just going to pull one card. From the moon energy manifestation deck, one card spirit, one card spirit, one card spirit, 
and cry for the rest of my spirit and also for myself and the messages that may need to be heard spirit one card got four here so you know what I heard them all so I'm gonna take them I heard them all and I am taking them because why spirit needs you to know this just like spirit needs me to know this first one says it's a new moon in Libra it says no you are loved okay for some of you if you have been in a relationship or if you have been in any energies where you feel like you are just giving more than receiving, you are just showing more love than you are receiving and you starting to question yourself or you starting to wonder about yourself or you starting to feel some type of way about yourself, know you are loved, know you are protected, know that your spirit guides, your ancestors, the guardian angels that spirit and God have put around you to protect you are there and protecting you. They want you to know you are loved. The next one says open to change open to change okay you have to be able to release those energies that are keeping you stagnant because if you do not none of these opportunities are going to open up for you none of these opportunities are going to open up open up open to change be open to something different be open to releasing okay release that energy whatever it is that is holding you back release that energy okay the next one says know your worth know your worth know your worth if anybody does not treat you the way that you know you deserve to be treated then you need to be open to change okay you need to be open to let that go and the last one says release your blocks release your blocks this energy or the energies that have been around they've been blocking they have been blocking not only me but i feel like the collective that's why i'm doing this video because i for me one of the things that also helped me get up out my rut was listening to sagittarius tarot readings and listening to people um break down my life <laughs> like tarot that break down my life and talk to me about it and people giving me these harsh truths so for that to be confirmed in my video as well like this video that i'm doing like, honestly, that's why I got, like, a little emotional, y'all. But I was not trying to cry in this video because I put my makeup on. <laughs> it's so beautiful to know that when you ask questions, spirit will always answer. God will always answer. The universe will always answer. <clears throat> know you are loved. Open to change. Know your worth. And release your blocks. This is so beautiful. And I just want to thank God. I want to thank the universe. I want to thank Spirit for these messages. This is so beautiful. If this resonated, go ahead and leave a like on this video. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, once again, thank you all so much for sticking with me through my little break. I appreciate you all so much. Let's build each other up in the comments down below. Okay, we're going to build each other up. Because we're going to finish this year strong and transformed. Alright, I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care.